As it's me, it's Queen Oset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. So if you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy my videos. I have a lot of them. <laughs> so if you're looking for a particular topic, I might have already covered it, so take a look. Those of you who have been here for a long, long time, thank you for still being here. <laughs> thank you for your comments and thank you for your love. Likewise, um, I'm hoping that more people will join us in the comments section. The comment section is lit every day and I answer every comment that I see. Okay, so come on down and check us out. Now, someone asked me to explain how to find themselves on their spiritual journey. I got a couple messages from people and they're coming out of traditional religions. They're coming out of like Judaism, uh, Christianity, Islam, and they're looking for um, different uh, alternative spiritual systems and spiritual practices. So they want me to tell them, like, how do you get started? They told me that they don't know what to do. They don't know how to get started. So this is how you basically get started. When you first come away from whatever you were born in, if you decide to move on to something new, the first thing I would recommend to you is do not jump into another spiritual system right away. Some people are Christian one day, Muslim the next day, <laughs> a Wiccan the day after that. They just keep on jumping, trying to find themselves. And my thing to you is, it's good to find yourself, but don't jump from initiation to initiation because you're basically breaking vows. You're promising to be a part of something, then breaking it. Promising to be a part of something else, then breaking it. So don't do it that way. That's not the smart way to do it. The smart way to do it is to stand back and learn about all of the spiritual systems, all the ones that interest you. Make a list of all the ones that interest you and take your time and study them, research them, read a book about them, go to a ceremony, but don't initiate or commit to anything. A lot of these systems try to get you to commit up front, you know, you come in the door, they're trying to get you to give ties, they're trying to get you to, you know, commit immediately in some kind of way. I don't recommend committing right away. It's one thing to give a donation, it's another thing to join the church or join a circle or something like that right away. In the Wiccan tradition, one of the things they do that I really like is they have people study for a year and a day before they initiate. So you must study the the ways, the Wiccan, the Wiccan read, um, whatever they're using, because they have different, you know, um, books and things that they use in their um, spiritual system. So you learn what the altar is. You learn what the athame is. You learn what oils do what, what herbs do what, what crystals do what. You learn, basically. You just read and learn. You know, reading books by Judica Isles and Silver Raven Wolf and Scott Cunningham, you know, things like that. And you just learn. Basically, that's it. You don't really do anything else but just learn. And then if you like it, after a year and a day, you initiate. And I recommend that you go on the same kind of journey. Just make a list of all the spiritual systems that you're interested in and just research them. Learn about them from a detached standpoint where you're not practicing one thing or another. You're just learning. And then you can make an informed decision about which one is best for you. You see, that's the smart way to do it. Because otherwise, you find yourself consistently breaking commitments and being even more confused. When I found my yacht, I found my yacht at 21 years old. I didn't initiate into my yacht until I was almost 30. So I found it, I learned about it, I read about it for a number of years before I was ready and like, yes, I'm going to initiate and be a priestess of my yacht. But I had started my spiritual journey at 13 years old. At 13, I started reading about different systems because I knew I wasn't Catholic after I had this conversation uh, with Sister Teresa. I did a video out here called Sister Teresa, and I'll link it to this video because it's funny. You guys can check it out. 
But after talking to Sister Teresa, I knew that I wasn't a Catholic and I needed to find what I was. So I took my time and I read about spiritual systems. I went to different um, events. I went to the mosque. I went to different circles. I went to different churches. Um, I've been to a lot of different spiritual uh, events, groupings, gatherings, you know, before I picked the one I initiated in at 30 years old. <laughs> I started at 13. So take your time. Take your time and just get to know them. Because for me, I had a criteria. I didn't want to be involved in anything that encouraged hatred. Anything that was homophobic, anything that was sexist, anything that was racist, anything along those lines, I did not want to be a part of. And when I found my yacht, I found representations of everything that I am in my yacht. There's a goddess of weed smokers and lesbians and bisexuals. Bast is her name. That's one of the, some of the things that she's a patron of. But there were others, and they were all affirming of all kinds of people because there was a god or a goddess for everybody in the society. So whatever you were, if you were a, a heterosexual married couple, if you were you know, a lesbian, if you were bisexual, if you were a pot smoker, if you were a CEO, if you were a judge, if you were a priestess, whatever you were, there were gods and goddesses who embraced you in my eye. And that is why I chose my aunt, because everything that I am was loved and embraced and encouraged, and hatred was never encouraged towards any group of people. That's why I chose it. And then I just took my time and got to know it. So you have to have a criteria of what you're looking for in your spiritual system. I wanted something that did those things, but I also wanted something that changed me, something that meant something on the inside, something that touched me. And I felt my yacht. And that's why I initiated as a priestess of my yacht and not as anything else. I never initiated into anything else. Because every, every system I came across, there was something. And I was like, eh, I'm not feeling that. And I just kept looking, kept looking. I knew I would find something one day. And I found it in my yacht. So yours could be God knows what. God knows what the spiritual system that's right for you is. And some people don't pick one spiritual system. Some people just pick spiritual practices and learn them and do them. They might do meditation. They may pray. They may work with angels and they may do tarot, but they're not a Wiccan. They're not a pagan. They call themselves eclectic. They just choose what they want to do. That's how a lot of spiritual systems started was one person choosing things from different systems and making it into one. So you absolutely can do that and then live your own creed, live by your own values, your own goals, your own rules. We're not encouraged to do that in this society, as I've said many, many times, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. As long as you're not hurting people, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. I always tell people, as long as it's not hateful, as long as you're not hurting people or hating people, if you're in a system that encourages you to hate, you're in the wrong system. If you're in a system that encourages you to hurt people for any reason, you're in the wrong system. So find something that matches your goals and your values and encourages love. That was my thing. I wanted something that encouraged unconditional love. Even if it was just unconditional love between me and goddess, that was good enough. So that's how you go on your spiritual journey. You learn, you take your time, you know, and you look at different things and you see what works for you because some things will resonate with you and some things just absolutely will not. So take your time and do it that way instead of jumping from one thing to the next. I had a friend in high school that initiated into like five or six different things during the course of high school. And you never knew what she was going to come with and what next, you know. And I was just looking like, that's not going to be me, you know. And she did eventually find what was right for her. But by the time she found it, she was a grown woman and had initiated into several different things. And like I said, it's not good to make and break vows. It's better to just not make them. <laughs> Don't make no commitments until you're 100% sure. Get to know what the system is. Okay, so that's the best way to do it. Start there 
and that will lead you to where you need to go. Everybody's not going to decide to be a priestess. Everybody's not going to decide to be a shaman. You know, everybody's not going to do tarot. So everybody's going to do their own thing. And that's the wonderful thing about spirituality. There's something out there for everybody. You can have it your way, you know? <laughs> like, isn't that, isn't that the slogan, I think, for Burger King or something like that? Have it your way? That's how spirituality is. You can have it your way. You just have to find which spiritual system works for you. And remember, there are old ones, like Yoruba and Santeria, that you might not be familiar with. Just learn. And don't jump into initiations. Don't jump into practices. Don't jump into anything. Just stand back, kind of like an anthropologist, and just learn. Learn what the values are. Learn what the rules are. Learn what kind of offerings you have to give. Learn what you're expected to do. Learn how much your tides are going to be. All that kind of stuff. Learn it. And then you can go ahead and initiate if you want to. Okay? And if not, you can just move on to the next thing on your list. So that's how you go on an effective spiritual journey. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who's in this space, please pass on this video to them. If you would like to give me a love donation, I'll leave my PayPal. If you would like to give me a gift, I will leave my Amazon wish list. If you are roughly my size, I'm a 2 or a 3X, check out my Amazon wish list. I picked out some really cute stuff. If you're into Harry Potter, check out my Amazon wish list because I got some cute stuff. If you're into spirituality, um, different forms like the conversation we had today. Check out my Amazon wish list. I have some books on there that I want that you might want to read yourself. Okay. Also, I have a lot more to say. So please come back again. See you later.